Hello, hello. Who are in here? Yes. Admit all. Hello, good morning. I mean, good afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Nag-aral ba kayo ng lesson natin for today? Ha? Binigyan ko kayo ng lesson, okay? Hopefully, yung ano nyo, parents nyo, uh, pinrint out yung uh, mga lesson nyo para at least mabasa nyo. Okay, how many of you are here today? So we have Ati Jasmine, Ito, Ati Fiona, Ati Ariel, JR. So how about the others? Okay. Okay, so before we start our uh, class, I want to ask each of you, what did you do uh, yesterday? And... Uh, what makes yourself busy, okay? It could be happened uh, last few days ago, or uh, could be today. Uh, tell something, what did you do today or yesterday? Okay, let's start with you, uh, uh, JR. Um, yesterday, I didn't really do much, except um, doing my, um, <coughs> my going to class and doing my homework and joining class and watching no. completely is your class already started yeah like it's been it's, it's, this is the second week oh the second week okay so what time is your class uh, every day uh, my class ends at 12 now oh okay so that's only temporary right um no, um, all the day, all my school days are going to end at twelve. Okay, that's good. Okay, good to hear that. At least uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, come and then uh, uh, participate in our class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, um, Jr. How about you, Ati Jasmine? Would you please share what did you do today? or last week or yesterday i just want to find out um well i, I can't my, hear you um, louder okay please i got my world history book oh. uh just yesterday so i was just making an outline oh last night like right after i got it um also my since my brother was out for a while um i was just waiting for him to get back so i was finishing that while i was waiting for him so oh. yeah i was just taking notes and like seeing what i what i like need to do because i heard that world history is a pretty busy course okay, a lot of reading and, yeah and i didn't have any like social studies classes last year so you know it's it's like it was sort of nice to like come back to it and see like what i have to do so yeah oh so did you already start your class or it's just only like uh, you're preparing for next week or uh, when is it started your class? I believe my mom told me the 31st. Um, oh. I think I'm going, yeah, I'm going to my school. Like I think a little bit after this to get my like iPad for school. But then, but yeah, I don't start until like in two weeks. Oh, in two weeks. So. Are you an eighth grader or seventh grader or what? I'm a sophomore. Oh, I'm sophomore. Tenth grader. Look at you. It's so fast. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I thought you're still in middle school. No, Jackie's in eighth grade. Oh, She's Jackie. I yeah. see. Well, uh, we missed you yesterday, but it's good, okay? Uh, knowing what you're doing and then making yourself busy, that's good, okay? Okay, okay thank you. Okay, how about you, Ito? What did you do yesterday? I did my taekwondo. Some exercises. That's all? Watch TV. Uh oh. <laughs> so basically, you're just making yourself busy at home. Uh, okay. Everything normal. Okay. 
And how about you, Ate uh, Fiona? What did you do yesterday? Um, what I did, I was washing some tissues and then I wrote notes about. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Uh, okay, how about you, Ate Ariel? What did you do yesterday? Um, we just did um, color class and then we mostly did nothing. I mean, I mostly did nothing. I just cleaned up my room a bit. Okay. And like, I don't know. Sounds good. Okay, how about you, Atiya, Atiya, uh, Jackie? What did you do yesterday that makes yourself busy? Ati Jackie, Ati Jackie. What did you do yesterday? You hear us? Can you hear me, Ati Jackie? Ati Jackie. Hello. Well, what happened? Why you cannot speak? What happened? Oh, doesn't work? Oh, you cannot, uh, okay. Okay, how about you? Uh, okay, I'll be back to you, okay? Fix your, uh, I call this uh, your, uh, whatever you're using, okay? I want to hear you. Okay, how about you, uh, Dalton? How I are you? I was playing my with my brothers and celebrating my dad's birthday yesterday. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. And we also did a 1v1 in basketball. Uh, where? Is it park or on at home? On the PlayStation and outside. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, at and least I it's actually a... beat him. Oh. <laughs> What's the point? 32. What? 32 to nothing? And, um, Dad had, like, he was 31. He was catching up. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. So we missed you yesterday, but uh, we're glad that you're here. So I hope your mom or your dad uh, print out those lessons that I posted in our group chat in order for you to read it at the same time, review what we uh, uh, had yesterday in our lesson. Because today I am going to ask you to read uh, some words and story in Tagalog and it's very important that you review that so that you can hear it at the same time to mimic the sound of that word and also the uh, sound how to pronounce that word okay so let's start okay I'm going to show, uh, share the screen okay so let's uh, check my screen right here. Where is that? Okay, right here. I hope you're seeing it. Okay, going on the top. So this is our lesson for today. Just kind of like review. And then after that review, we're going to uh, 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 introduce the new lesson. Okay, so if you miss something like you're not so sure just go back to our previous lesson and ask your mom and your dad to explain it or maybe read it so that you can uh, follow along with us how it sounds out that word okay because we don't have enough time to go back okay from the fir uh, first lesson okay all you have to do is uh, to uh, uh, start the lesson that you did not really uh, get it because you have more time, okay? But if you really want me to uh, help you out, just let me know, okay? So that I can uh, review it for you guys. But make sure you ask, okay? So that I know which part that you don't know. Okay, so balik aralin sa pagbasa, meaning we have to go back to our previous lesson, okay? So I'm sure a lot of you already know what does it mean, all these words, okay? This is a common words that you're going to hear 
not only at home, but also when you're uh, called as, uh, visiting your family, uh, relatives, who are speaking in Tagalog. And then you're going to catch up with these words, okay? So let's read, okay? You follow along, okay? So would you please uh, unmute all of your sound, please? I am going to read first, and then you are going to read the next. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thumbs up if you said yes, okay? I'm going to read first, then after I read it, you're going to read it, okay? Ako muna, okay? Number six. Pa -su -yo. I'm going to read first, and then after that, I'm going to point the cursor to the words, and then you're going to read it. Is that clear? Thumbs up if you got it? Yes. Okay, I'd like you to unmute all of your um, microphone, please. Okay, me first. Pasuyo. Then your turn. Pasuyo. Mahalim. Mahalim. Aruga. Aruga. Pag-ibig. Pag-ibig. Pagbati. Pagbati. Malugod. Malugod. Okay. Susundin. Susundin. Halina. Halina. Pagbati. Pagbati. Anyaya. Anyaya. Pagbalik. Pagbalik. Pahusay. Pahusay. Okay, good. Okay, let's go down right here sa pagbasa ng bilang. Okay? So, review. Okay? So, I'd like you all to read. How many of you are not sure with these words right here? All of you know it? All of you know it? Okay, good. Okay, let's start with the column number one. Okay, start reading. Isa, okay, column number two. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to ask Ati Jasmine to read the column number one that right here. Okay, Ati Jasmine, read it, please. Okay. Apat na po isa, apat na po talawa, apat na po tatlo, apat na po apat, apat na po lima, apat na po ani. Okay, ani. column number two, good job. Uh, column number two, Fiona. Ati Fiona. Ati Fiona. Limang po tatlo, limang po apat, limang po lima, limang po anim. Okay, good job. Okay, JR, I'd like you to read column number uh, three, please. Um, anim na po isa, anim na po talawa, anim na po tatlo, anim na po tapat. Anim na pot lima, anim na pot anim. Okay, good job. Okay, next. Uh, Dalton, would you please read that column number four, please? Pitong po isa, pitong po tawa, pitong po talo, pitong po apat, pitong po lima, pitong po anim. Very good. Okay, good job. Okay, column number one. Okay, ito, read this. Walang pot isa, walang pot dalawa, 
Balang pot tatlo, balang pot apat, balang pot lima. Okay, good job. Okay, next, Ariel. Would you please read this one? Ariel? Where are you, Ariel? Ariel. Okay. How about you, Auntie Jackie? Are you be able to uh, to use your uh, speaker now? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Read this column number two. Yam na po isa. No, Ariel. No, si Jackie na. Okay, Auntie Jackie, go ahead. My apologies. Okay. Go ahead. Siam na po isa. Siam na po dalawa. Siam na po tatlo. Siam na po apat. Siam na po lima. Very good. Okay, good job. Okay, now. Let's start right here. Okay, I'm going to read first and then you going to follow along later on, okay? I'm going to read the first line. Okay, the first line. And then the next, I'm going to call the person to call the next line. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. Okay, good. Just follow along, okay? Lunes. Lunes. Monday. Let me read first and I'm going to call a person, okay? So that you know how you, what are you going to do. Or how are you going to sound it out? Okay, lunes. Lunes, Monday. Okay, next. Ariel, read number two. Martes. Martes, Tuesday. Okay, next, Ati Jackie. Miraculous. Miraculous Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. Okay, next. Uh, Ito, could you please read number four? Who best? Who webes? Who webes? Webes. Thursday. Okay, very good. Okay, next. JR, would you please number five? Begarness. Viernes, Friday. Very good. Atifiona, number six. Sabado. Sabado. Saturday. Okay, next. Ati Jackie. Ati uh, Jasmine, please. Lingo. Lingo. Sunday. Very good. Okay, now let's go back here. Sa ano? Sa buwan, mga buwan ng taon. I'm sure you're already familiar with this one, okay? It's a review, okay? I'm going to read first, and then you're going to read the next, okay? I'm going to call a person so that we're not kind of like a jumping in all in the same uh, uh, number, and then the, the noise is getting uh, louder and we cannot hear you all, okay? So I'm going to read first, and then I'm going to call the next person to read. Is that clear? Okay. This is how you're going to read it, especially if it is divided in syllables. And then the second column, you're going to read it as is. And then a translation of that in English. Okay? Number one. Enero. Enero. January. Okay? Again. Enero. Enero. January. So that's how you're going to read it, guys. The first one. You're reading it by syllables. And then the second way to read it smoothly without any stopping or division. And then the third one, you're going to say it in English. Is that clear? Okay. Next, number two, Ati Jasmine, read it. Febrero, Febrero, February. Okay, very good. Ati uh, Fiona. Ati Fiona, it's your turn. I can't believe what happened. The sound is uh, kind of like, uh, breaking up. Okay. Next, JR. Abriel. Marshall. Abriel, April. Very good. Okay, next. Uh, who's next? Uh, Delton. 
M Mayo. Mayo May. Okay, next, Ariel. Junio. Junio. June. Okay, next, Ati Jackie. Julio. Julio, July. Okay, next, Ito. Eight. Augusto. Augusto, August. Okay, remember when you're reading, make sure you follow along with the division, okay, the syllable. Okay, Agosto, Agosto, August. Okay, read it again, Ito. Augusto. Okay. Read syllables with division. Agosto, Agosto, August. Okay, read again. Agosto, Agosto, August. Very good. Next, Ariel. September, September, September. Okay, next, Ati uh, Jackie. October, October, October. Okay, next, uh, Dalton. I can't see it, no. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, go no, ahead. Brem, no, Gambre. No, Bembre. No, November. Okay, next. Ati Sata. Okay. JR. December. 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 December, December. Very good. Okay. So, do you know now how many uh, days we have in a week? Are you be able to recite the name of those days in a week? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, good. I saw some thumbs up. Okay. How about in a month? Names of the month. You be able to uh, say it, read it, identify it, yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Okay. So let's, uh, okay, this one is a little bit confusing, especially when you uh, read this one, Junio and Julio. Okay. So just remember this, guys. The M is Junio for June. The L is for Julio, meaning July. So those are the two differences. They have the same uh, Katinig, which is H. They have the same Patinig on the, on the second uh, letter. But they don't have the same uh, Katinig in the third uh, letter. One is N. N and then the other one is L. But the last two letters, they have the same. So that is the only difference between June and July. Just uh, be watchful on that one so that you don't get confused. When you say Junio, that is June. Julio, meaning that is July. So usually those are the two months that a lot of students get confused because the first two letters, they have the same. And then the last two letters, they have the same. The only difference is the third letter. One is N and then the other one is L. Okay? Be watchful on that one because I'm going to give you a quiz and then you're going to match it. Okay? So maybe uh, uh, this uh, Thursday. Okay? So you should uh, be able to uh, know that one. Okay. Is there any question? Any question? My question ba? Hi, Jason. My question ba tayo? Wala. Wala. Okay. Okay, let's go back now. Dito sa basahin natin. Aralin. Okay? Dito. Ayan. Ito ang pinag-aralan natin. Kahapon. So, review natin. 
So, I hope pinrint out ito ng mga parents nyo para at least alam nyo kung paano mabasahin to. Pero, I'm going to read first and then I'm going to ask one of you, all of you actually, one at a time to read it. Okay? Because I know you'll be able to read now the words by syllables. Okay? By syllables. What, are I'm lo what am I looking at here? I am looking for the correct sound, okay? When you pronounce the word or the letter, okay? That's the only thing. At first, uh, you know, you don't have to uh, know the whole thing and the story, okay? Because you're starting to learn how to read Tagalog, okay? Once you read a lot of Tagalog, all, you know, one way or another, you're going to understand what we're talking about here. But I'm going to explain after you read, okay? So that you get an idea, you know, the summary of this one. Okay, I'm going to read first. And then after that, I'm going to ask one at a time to reread this, uh, call this paragraph. Okay, there are four paragraphs in this story. Okay? Ang parabula ng mga posporo. Okay, ang parabola, okay, parabola ng mga pos, okay, pos poro, okay. So I already divided into syllables so that you be able to read it, okay. Okay, number one, sa dulo ng isang Tahimik na kahuyan. May isang payak na bahay. Kubo. And then there's a period, right? So you stop. Then sa kusina ng bahay. Kubo. Ay may isang ma liit na kahon ng posporo period may nakatirang halos limampung palito ng posporo sa loob ng kahon isang araw Isang posporo na nag-ngangalang lito ay nagsalita. Okay? So, in summary of the first paragraph, it is a story of a matchbox full of matchsticks inside. Okay? They gave you first the scenario. There is a nipa hut or small house in the woods. Okay, and then it went straight to the kitchen and they found the matchbox full of uh, 30 matchsticks inside. Okay, and then the eldest in that matchsticks, his name is Lito. So that is the summary of this story all about. Okay, for the first paragraph. Okay, let me ask JR. To read it first. Go ahead, JR. Sa dulong ng isang tahimik na kahuyan, may isang payak na bahay kubo. Sa kusina ng bahay kubo ay may isang malit na kahon ng posporo. May nakatari Rang halos limam pung pung paling ng posporo. Loob ng kahon isang araw isang posporo ng ng nalang dito ay ng salita. Salita. Okay, next Rita. Okay, good. Okay, next, Dalton. Dalton, read. 
sadu lo na i san ta hai ni na what ta ta hi hi ni na ka u u ya mai i san pa ya na ba hey ku hi 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 ku bo sa ku si na nang ba hey hi hi ku bo an mai i san ma li i nang ka hon nang pos po ro mai na ka ti rang halo li mang pang pa li to nang pos po ro sa lo ob nang ka hang a sa isang araw isang pospero nang nang naga na 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 singa ya na lang lito ang nag si salita okay good job okay Next, where's Ati? Uh, okay, Ati Fiona, read. Sa dulo na isang tahimik na kahuyan, ma isang payak na bahay kubo. Sa kusina na bahay kubo ay may isang maliit na kahong ng Posporo, may nakatirang halos limang pong palito ng posporo sa loob ng kahon. Isang araw, isang posporo na nagnagalang lito ay nagsalita. Okay, galing. Okay, Ate Jasmine. Your turn, Ate Jasmine. Sa dulo ng isang tahimik na kahuyan, may isang eh, hayak na bahay kubo. Sa kusina ng bahay kubo, Period. Sama. ay may isang maliit na kahon ng posporo. May Nakatirang halos limampung palito ng posporo sa loob ng kahon. Isang araw, isang posporo ng nangangalang dito ay nagsalita. Okay, mahusay. Okay? But, because, but guy, I mean, uh, students, ha? basta may nakita kayong period, mag-stop lang kayo and then start again ng words. Pag may nakita kayong kama, pause a little bit and then start again. Huwag niyong dire-diretsuhin para makuha niyo yung sense ng, ng binabasa niyo. Okay? So, good. Okay, next. Ito, read. Read. Sa dulo nag-asa isang isang tahimik na kahuyan Ma, ma sa isang pa pa ma, ya na ba hai kubo sa kusina nag ba he hai kubo hai ulit ba hai ba hai kubo amai amai I, I, my, 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 
Isang Isang malite na kahun nag prosporo may nakatirang haslo lima pang palis. Okay, hold on. Halos. Say halos. Halos lima lima pang palis. Palito nag prosporo sa lum loob loob nagkahon isang ara isang Sang. prosporo na nag nag na lang nito ay, ay nag salita okay good job okay next Ati Jackie. Ati Jackie, please read this. Okay. Sa tulog ng isang tahimik na kahuyan, may isang payak na bahay kubo. Sa kusina ng bahay kubo ay may isang maliit, maliit na kahon ng paspo. Pero, may nakatirang halos ni ma'am kung bali to ng posparo sa loob ng kahon. Ay sanga na isang posparo na nangyangan ma'am. Dito ay nagsalita. Okay, mahusay. Okay, next, Ate Ariel, basa. Sa dulo isang tahimik na kahuyan may isang payak na bahay kubo. Sa kusina ng bahay kubo ay may isang maliit na kahon ang pasporo. May katirang halos na mangkong palito ng pasporo sa loob ng kahon. Isang araw, isang posporo na nag nangangangang lito ay nagsalita. Okay, mahusay. Okay, next. Jason. Okay, read Jason. Sa? Sa? Tu? Tu? Nang? Sang dahi Nek Naka Huyang May Isang Bahay Na Bahay Kupu Sa Ko si na nung ba ha ubo ay may isang ba it na ba kung nung mang pos poro na may na ka ti ang pa lo le ni sam kung palito ng posporo sa lo o ng Last 
ng rito ang may ng salita. Okay, mahusay. Okay, maski mabagal pero nakakabasa. That's good, that's good. Okay, na ano na ba kita, ano, Dalton? Nakabasa ka na, Dalton? Yes. Okay, so lahat nakabasa na? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, sa so second paragraph naman, so sino gusto mag-volunteer magbasa? Sino gusto mag-volunteer? Okay, so hindi ka makakita lahat. Okay, sino una? Okay. Okay. Did you volunteer, JR? JR, did you volunteer? Uh, um, I could. Okay, go ahead. Okay, read number two. Makita ko yung kamay mo na Grace eh. Okay. Uh, hindi pa ninyo na papansin na napawasa ang bilang natin kapag bukas ang ating bahay isa sa atin ay kinukuha kin kinukuha saan si Ladina Jala ku, kuya lito tanog ni pilita ang bon so sa maga palito ng posporo okay so the story here is uh, kuya lito the eldest one and the uh, match sticks said that did you know that every time they open our house meaning the matchbox someone is speaking one of our members so and then pelita the youngest one asked kuya lito the, the eldest one saying so they they're getting one of us so where did they uh, bring them or where did they go and then that's the question so if you notice that when you open a match back with full of uh, match sticks right so you don't grab the whole thing, right? You grab it one at a time. So after you, you grab one, you close the, the box and then you scratch it so that the, uh, I call this a stick and lid. Okay, so that's what they're talking about here. So do you understand the, uh, the second paragraph is all about? So they're kind of like, they're all questioning to each other because they're all kind of like a family inside that math box. Okay, so every time someone's to, to use the matchbox, they have to open the house, I mean the box, and then pick one and then scratch it. But the question among them is, where did they go? What did they do with one of our members? So that was the question in the paragraph number two. Okay, so who's next? Who wants to volunteer? Okay, Ati Jasmine. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to call all of you. Okay, Ati Jasmine, read. Hindi ba ninyo napapansin na nabawasan ang bilang natin? Kapang bumukas ang ating bahay, isa sa atin ay kina, kinukuha. Kinukuha? Saan sila dinadala, Kuya Rito? Dano, eh, danong ni Pilita. Ang bunso sa mga palito ng posporo. Okay, good job. Okay, next, Ati Fiona. Number two. Hindi ba ninyo napapansin na nabawasan ang bilang natin kapag bumumkas ang ating bahay? Isa sa atin uh, kinukuha kinukuha saan sila dinadala kuya lito tanong ni pilita ang punso sa mga palito ng posporo okay good job okay who's next who wants to volunteer okay okay ariel read 
hindi pa ninyo napapansin na nabawasan ang big bilang natin. Kapag bumukas ang atin bahay, isa sa atin ay kinukuha, kinukuha saan sila dinadala. Kuya Lito, tanong ni Bilita, ang bunso sa mga palito ng posporo. Okay, good job. Okay, who's next? Who wants to volunteer? Okay, go ahead, Jason. Nakaredi na si Jason. Okay, go. Read. Hindi ba nin yon na pa pansin na na bawa san ang bilang na ten ka pag mo o kasang atining pa hay isa sa pating ay take the hands off your face the food off your face read e e o o ha e no Tena dala ko niya dito tayo ni te 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 kita sa ang punso sa mga pat ni li Okay, good job. Okay. Okay, next. Sino gusto magbasa ng number three? Okay, ito. Basa, number three. Hindi ko nang alam in basta ko no ko kino kino ko hana Ling lang si la ka pag kinuhana ang isa sa atin mabilis na isa na isi si ulit ulit isi na Sara an bahe bahay natin at domo din lem puli ang alem ko lam 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 ko lang a na bawa sa Liu Liu Le Liu Le A Jonal Isana Ba. Okay, but my period. Hold on. When you see a period, just stop. Okay. Okay. Continue. Na Balisa Ang I I Bing Bang. Abang, ibang, posproro, habang, di, na, bi, na, bi, ni, bi, ni, bi, lang, ni, la, kan, i, lan. Okay? Okay, na, Na lang a na titi rasa kanila 
Hi, here him that Nila Na is E one Anilang Tahanin Nan Nan Na Nag Na Ka Na Na Ko Di lang magpe kapit bisik kapag bang bisik sa mule ang kahon ko kahon na kay ni ling lang lang kaming ter Okay, good. That's a long read, okay? So basically, the story is this, okay? So the eldest one is saying that to his sibling that now we know that every time the matchsticks house is being opened, someone in our sibling is being picked and then we don't know what's happening. So we have to take care of one another as sibling. So we're not going to allow this to happen again. So this is our plan. Okay. So every time they're going to open the matchbox house or the matchbox to get one of the sticks, Lito said we have to hold together hand in hand so that they're not going to get us all together or one at a time. So we have to stick together as you know, siblings or brothers or sisters. So that is what they're talking about. Okay? So to protect one another, to take care of one another by holding their hands together as one. Okay? So anybody wants to read? This is a long one. I can't see it all. Okay. Go ahead, Dalton. Read. Hindi ko nang alam at basta kina ko ha na. Hold on, that one. When you see a period right here, you stop. Okay? So that we know that's one sentence. Okay? You're reading good. Okay? But that is a punctuation that we cannot ignore. So every time you see a period or a comma, Okay, period, you stop, comma, you pause. Okay? Okay, let's uh, continue. Bas ta ki nang nu ka ha na lang si la ka pag ki nu ha na ang isa sa ating mabilis na isi na sa sa ra ang pa hey hi hi na tin a do mi G N M U D B ang alang ko lang A I I na pa wa sang u li ta yo Nang isa na bali sa ang ibang post pro ha bang di di ni di lang ni la kung Ilang na lang ang na ti t 
Tirasaskanila. Okay. The hill na is iwang ang kanilang tahang hanan nan na na ang a na na ka ko silama ka ti bi si si ka pag bi nuk sa mu li ang kahang na ka ni lang ti ni dil hang okay good job okay okay let's move on now to our last part which is number four paragraph it is short and easy okay any volunteer any volunteer speed okay go at if yana isang araw nang bumukas ang kahon bigla nang kapit bisig ang matakot ng posporo na nalang ni sila na walang makuhokwa sa kanilang pamilya okay so the story is one day when the uh, Maspax uh, opener, they're all kind of like uh, held one another hand in hand. Okay? Even though they were scared because they know that someone's going to be picked. Okay? But still, they all stood up, just kind of like holding tight. Okay? And they keep on praying that, please, Lord. Do not pick one more of our family. So that is the end of this story. So that is uh, kind of like the moral of this is being a sibling or member of the family, you have to hold one another. You have to protect one another. Even though in reality, is one way or another, one of the members of the families will be gone soon. Okay? So protect one another. Okay, anybody wants to volunteer to read? Okay, JR, you're raising your hand? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, read. Um, isang araw ng buma, bumakas ang bumu, kahon. Bumu. Okay, mu, not ma. Bumukas. Mu. Yeah. Bumukas ang kahon. Biglang nagka it bisig ang magatakot na posporo na nalangin sila na walang makuha sa kanilang pamilya. pamilya. Okay, good job. Okay, anybody else who wants to read or shy? Okay, no one? Okay, Ate Jasmine. Go ahead, Ate Jasmine. Isang araw, nang pumukas ang kahon, biglang nagkapipisig ang mga takot na posporo na nalangin oh, stop typing sila na walang Makuha sa kanilang pamilya. Okay, good job. Okay, Ariel, go ahead. Isang araw nang bumukas ang kahon, biglang nagkape, bisig ang magatako ng posporo na nalagin sila na walang makuha sa kanilang pamilya. Okay, good job. Okay, who else? Who else? 
Okay, Ate Jasmine or Ate Jackie? Ate Jackie. Oh, number four, right? Yeah. Okay. Isang araw, nang bukas, ang kahon, biglang nak, biglang nag, kapi, bisig, ang mga takot na posporo, na na lagni, sila na walang makuha sa kanilang pamilya. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, next. Ito, you want to read? Ito. Go ahead. Isang, read. Oh, isang ara ng bumukas ang kahon bilang ang kapit bising ang magtakot mga 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 takot na posporo na nalagin sila na walang makuthasa kanilang pamilya. Okay, good job. Okay, who else who wants to participate, who wants to read? Any volunteers? Okay, Jason, go ahead. Go ahead. Na lang ang na For number four. Isang araw ng bukas ang kahon big lang ng kapit pe sing ang nga ta Ut na posporo na na la na ngin sila na wal na mo ko na sa ka ni lang ng pa yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, who else? That's all? Okay, it seems like we all know how to read. It's just a matter of practicing. Okay, the more you read, the more you hear what you're reading, the more you memorize the sound, and then eventually, you, when you read it, it's going to be smooth. Okay, you don't have to read like a robotic type, like, Na lang ang natitira. So it is a practice, okay? At first, it's okay to read that way, okay? Like a robotic uh, sound, but you have to read it as fast as you can, okay? That is the technique of reading Tagalog. At first, it's okay, it's sent syllables, okay? But the moment you already know the word, you make it faster how to read it. Like for example, magkapit basic. Magkapit bisig. So make it faster. Magkapit bisig. Okay? So that's how you say the word. It's okay at this time you read it by syllables, but eventually when you keep on reading the words, you will master that. Okay? It's okay. Okay? It's a learning process at this time. Is there any question? May any, may any question ba tayo? We're all okay? Okay? Okay, let's move on to our la next topic right here, okay? This is bahagi ng katawan. Okay? You have to look at the bahagi ng katawan, okay? Bahagi ng katawan. Okay. Kini-kini. Okay. Kili-kili. <laughs> okay. So, 
this is very cool part of our body, okay? Even myself, when I'm looking at it, I didn't realize that, you know, the, this, the differentiate, differentiation between brasso and bisig. So I'm learning as well. Brasso meaning from your wrist to your elbow. So that's what we call brasso. That is in number seven. Are you being able to see it, guys? Hello? You're seeing it? Okay, you're seeing it? Okay, so we're now studying the part of the body because that's another thing that you have to learn as well. Because if your mom asks you, Okay, nasan ang ulo? Masakit ba ang ulo? Pag tinanong kayo ni mami o ni daddy, masakit ba ang ulo? Are you going to point your nose? Are you going to point your nose? No. That is ilong. Pag masakit ang ulo, ito, di ba? Masakit ang ulo. Okay? Ulo. Pag masakit ang tenga, saan ang tenga? Ito. Yeah. That's it. Okay? So, let's start. From here, okay, from here, that is what we call ulo. Not here. Okay? Are you following me here, guys? Yes. From the top to your chin, that is what we call ulo. Okay? Ulo. And then, from here to here, that is what we call leeg. Are you following me? Leeg. Yeah. Here to here, but here to here, that is what we call leeg. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, balikat is your shoulder. Okay? Shoulders. Next, your hand. Your hand is from here to here. Okay? Hand from here to here. All of this, we call it hand. But if we're talking about here, this, 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 we call those daliri. Okay? Ilang daliri meron tayo? We have 10 daliri. So meaning we have 10 fingers. Okay? 10 fingers. <coughs> but when we're talking about the whole thing, we call it hand. Okay, next, we call it kamay. Okay, kamay. The whole thing, kamay. But simula rito, hanggang rito, we call that braso. Okay, braso. Braso, meaning from here to here. But from, from your wrist, to your kilikili, we call that beast. Okay, beast. Okay, what do you call your armpit? Kilikili. Okay, kilikili. Okay, so when you say, okay, where is your kilikili? You point right here, your armpit. Okay, how about here? What do you call this part right here? Dib dib. Dib dib. Okay. So, what we call that, that is your chest. Okay? Chest. Okay? Meron pang hindi na ano dito. Yung ano natin, yung parte natin dito, yung breast, we call that suso. Okay? Suso. Okay? Suso. Okay? The breast part. Okay? Breast. Okay? Dib dib. Okay? Your tummy, we call that tiyan. Okay? Pag sinabi ni nanay, masakit ba ang tiyan? Anong ibig sabihin nun? Anybody? When you say, masakit ba ang tiyan? What is that? In English? Belly, belly. Okay. You have your tummy ache or your belly is painful. Okay? You have a tummy ache. Okay? Tiyan. Okay, what do you call this? What do you call this? Siko. Siko, yes. Hita. From your waistline down to your knee, that is what we call hita. Okay? In short, that is your what? Thighs. Thighs. Okay, thighs in English. How about your knee? You call that tuhod in Tagalog. 
Okay. So, mula sa, from your knee all the way down to your ankle, what do we call that in Tagalog? We call binti. that binti. Okay. In English, what is binti? Calves. Okay. We call that calves. Okay. Your calf, meaning that is binti. Okay. Yung paa, yung paa, okay, we call that a foot. Okay, for one. If you have two foot, we call it feet. Okay? So, ang paa, yung the whole, the whole paa, meaning the whole foot. Okay, sa bawat paa, may mga toes. Ano sa Tagalog ang toes? Ano sa Tagalog? Okay, daliri ng paa. Okay, next. How about the ankle? What do you call the ankle in Tagalog? Bongko. Bongko. Okay. In Tagalog is bukong bukong. Okay. Bukong bukong. Okay. Now, I'd like you guys to put away your... Uh, Whatever you're reading right now, I just want to find out how many of you be able to identify. Okay? Okay, I'm going to ask. Okay? I'm going to ask. First. Okay. Are you be able to see it? Okay. Are you be able to see it? Okay, Jasmine. Ati Jasmine, are you be able to see it? The screen? Ati Jasmine? Ati Jasmine, are you be able to see it? I can't see it anymore. You can't see it anymore? No, I'm trying to. You don't see my screen? No, I think it's just me. Because huh? I think it's just me. How about you, uh, Ati Ariel, what do you see on the screen? What do you see on screen? The blank um, body parts of like that. Where it's okay, blank. Okay, now. Okay. May I ask uh, JR? JR? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your paper with you? Um, no, I don't have a paper. Oh. Okay. Don't look at it. I just want to find out if you know. Don't worry if it's your answer is wrong or wrong. Uh, um, no, I can't memorize it and, and I don't have a paper. Okay, that's good. I just, whatever you know, just tell me, okay? Okay, you'll be able to see the blank one, right? The blank uh, part of the body. I don't see anything right now. The screen just see? went black. Uh, the screen is black? Yeah. You don't see anything? Okay. Oh. You don't see anything? Okay. Let me check. Mm, don't see anything. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Here's my yeah. So you don't see any screen right now, other than the, the one that the, our Zoom is. Oh, uh, um, all I see is a black screen. Black screen. Okay. Okay. It came back. I see it now. You can see it now. Yeah. What do you, What do you see? Um, I see the on the diagram of the body. Are those blank? There's a has a, like a name uh, by in each number. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It has a name in each um number. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Are you be able to see it? Um. All I see is the bot, the diagram. Okay, it's a blank. 
No, it's the diagram. The diagram okay. of the body. And then that's okay. all. That's all I see. Okay. Now I want you to tell me what is the name of number one. Ulo. How about number 17? It's something Dalarigna Paa. Okay, good. Okay. okay, number 15. Um, I don't know. Okay, how about number 16? Uh -uh. Okay, number 14. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, how about number 13? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, how about 12? No, I'm not sure. Okay, 6. Uh, it's the sequel or something? Okay, number 11. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, number 10. I'm not sure. Number 10? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, number 4. Kili. Okay, number 5. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, number 8. Uh, I'm not sure, too. Okay, number 9. I'm not sure. Okay, number seven. That's short. D? Does it start with a D? Okay, number three. What is number three? Um, I'm... Wait, that's the shoulder. Hmm? What is the um, gallop for shoulder? My... Uh, my mom told it to me, but then I forgot it. Okay, that's good. At least you have time to review, okay? Because I'm going to get back to you uh, maybe tomorrow, okay? Okay, next. Who wants to volunteer? Good job, okay? Okay, Jason. Tell me, what is number 17, Jason? Number 17. Okay. What is number 17 in Tagalog? Um, paa. Okay. Paa. Number 17. But they're pointing at one one only. This. What is that? Number 17. Paa. What is the Tagalog for uh, toes? Just tell them if you don't know, then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, now about number 15. Do you know it? Yes or no? No. Okay, how about number 11? <laughs> what is that? Golly? No. Um, Tagalog. And then you can take on the Okay, how about number 10? Do you know number 10? Yes or no? So, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to, uh, okay, number four. Yeah. Gilly, gilly. Okay, number five. Just tell me no. You know it, yes or no? No. Okay, how about number eight? Yes or no? Kamai. Kamai. Okay, how about number nine? If there is a kamai, meron siyang number nine. Uh, um, um, I don't know. Okay, how about number seven? Do you know number seven? No. Okay, number three. What do you know? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't know? Okay, how about number one? I'm sure you know what's number one. In Tagalog, what is that? Number one. Ulo. Ulo. Okay, how about this one? What do you call that? Number two. I don't know. Okay. So, again, okay, I, uh, so you have to review the parts of the body, okay? Meron akong sinan na ano na na information on this one. Okay, anybody? Good job, Jason. At least you tried your best. Okay, who else wants to identify the parts of the body? Okay, go ahead, Ariel, if you know. Okay, number 16. Uh -uh. How about 14? Um, um, yes or no? Binti. Huh? Binti. Okay, how about number 13? Too hard. And number 12? Um, I don't know that one. Okay, six. Um, um, I don't know that one either. Okay, number two. I only know like the the ulo um the. Okay, uh, what is? Do you know number two? Yes or no? Liig. Okay, number one. Can you get out, please? Number one, look. What is um, number one? Um, ulo. Okay, number three. Balika. Number seven. Um, what's this called again? Um, I think it's something like starts with a B. Okay, number nine. Um, Davide. Number eight. Come I. Number five. Um, I don't know one. Number four. Rikili. Number ten. E. Number 11. Tian. Number 15. Bukong, bukong. Number 17. Dalire um, ng paa. Okay, good job. Okay, so those you, you did not get, you have to study it. Okay, who else? Who wants to volunteer? Okay. Okay, Fiona, go ahead. Okay. 17. Daliri ng paa. Paa. Pa Fifteen? Paa. Are you sure that's paa? Fifteen is... Oh, wait, no. Bokong. Bokong. Number eleven. Tian. Ten. Dib dib. Fourteen. Kili kili. I mean five. Bisig. And eight. Um, kamay. Nine. Dadiri. Seven. Braso. Three. Balikat. One. Ulo. Sixteen. Paa. Fourteen. Pinti. Thirteen. Tuhod. Twelve. Hita. Six. Sickle. And two. The egg. Okay, good job. Who's next? Who wants to volunteer? Anybody? Anybody? No more? Okay. So, who else? Who wants to volunteer? Okay, go ahead, Dalton. What is number three? Dalton, where are you? I'm here. Okay, what's number three? Just I tell me know. if you know it. You, you know, know it? Okay, I how about number one? Ulo. How uh, two? We eat. Number six? Siko. Twelve? 
I don't know. 13. I don't know. 14. Sixteen. Sixteen is... Ha -a? Okay, seventeen. I don't know that one. Fifteen. Kind of Fifteen. I don't know. I don't Seven. know that one. Eleven. Eleven is... Eleven. It's something with a T. Okay, number ten. You know number ten? Ten. I forgot. And number four. Four is Kili Kili. Number five. Um, I don't know that one. Number eight. How about number nine? I don't know that one. Okay, that's good. Okay, at least you know some of it. Okay, anybody else who wants to volunteer? No more? Okay. So you still have time to review all of this, okay? Because we're going to have a recitation this one. Okay, now, let's proceed here, mga bagay na sinosuot, okay? So you're going to be familiar with this, okay? You have to, because you're going to see this. Usually, you're, you're, you're seeing it all the time at home. And sometimes, your mom or your dad is asking you, Hey, pakebut nga ng kapote, sombrero, corbata. Uh, bupanda, bota, sombrero, okay? So be familiarized with this one. Capote, it's a raincoat. We usually wear that during rainy season. Okay, capote, that's how we call it, capote. Okay, hat, we call it sombrero, similar to Spanish. Okay, sombrero. Bota, meaning boots. Okay, you wear that either during rainy season or flooding uh, when there's a flood or when you, you're going to a wet day area so you use that bota and uh, bupadan because we call this like a uh, like a shawl or uh, uh, another thing is for the shawl is I don't know how to translate it in English but I'll get back to you corbata is a tie Okay, corbata is tie, sombrero is a hat, okay? So, bupanda, that's the first thing I encounter this word, bupanda, but you call it like, uh, you, when you, what is the translation for this in English? When you wear it during winter time, you cover on your uh, neck. Anybody can tell me what do you call this in English? You wear that during a... Uh, a scarf. Um, a scarf. Okay? Scarf. So, the translation of bupanda in English is scarf. This is the first time I encountered this word bupanda. I thought shawl for, uh, for bupanda, but it's in English is scarf. Okay? Remember that. Kapote. The translation for that in English is raincoat. Sombrero is hat, okay? Bota, meaning boots. Bupanda, meaning scarf. Corbata, meaning uh, that is a tie, okay? Next, these are the things or object that we wear that you're not familiar in Tagalog, okay? Eyeglasses. Is this one, you wear it, salamin, okay? Salamin, okay? 
Cinturon. Okay? Cinturon in English is belt. Okay? Sino na nakatikin ng cinturon? <laughs> I'm sure nakatikin na kayo ng mga cinturon. Okay? So, cinturon. Okay? Medyas. If your mom, your dad asks you, okay, could you please uh, pick up your medyas? So, meaning your socks. Okay? Please put all your sapatos in a shoe rack. So, sapatos meaning shoes. Chinelas meaning your slippers. Okay? Or flip-flops. Okay? Flip-flops that we use in, in Tagalog, we call it chinelas. How about bakya? Okay? It is made up of wooden uh, shoes. Okay? So, that is uh, bakya. Another thing, these are the type of clothes that we usually wear, especially in the Philippines. Okay, there is a uh, Spanish uh, influence in here. That's the reason why the word is in Spanish too. Camisa dentro, meaning is a polo. The one that I'm using right now is camisa dentro. Okay, we call it camisa dentro. Okay, camiseta. In English, is T-shirt. Blouse in uh, English, but in Tagalog, we call it blusa. Okay? Pantalon in English is pants. Maong na pantalon, meaning jeans in English. Palda, meaning skirt. Okay? So some of the uh, words that we use in uh, local uh, or Tagalog words derive from Spanish. Okay, like for example, as I've said right here, camisa dentro, okay, meaning polo shirt, camiseta, meaning t-shirt, blusa, meaning blouse, pantalon, meaning pants, maong na pantalon, meaning jeans, palda, skirt, okay? So those words are not really Tagalog because we derive those words in Spanish, okay? So the same words we use or they use with this particular clothes, okay? In Spanish, when you say this, it's the same thing, okay? So don't be confused on that one. This is not really the exact Tagalog word, but this is derived from Spanish. Okay, Dalton, what's the question? My tablet's about to die. It's on 10% and the charger's broken. Okay. Don't worry, we're going to be in this now, okay? So these are the words, okay? So for your homework, I'd like you to read this one. You ask your mom to print this, okay? Because we're going to have a recitation on this one, okay? Ang title nito, Ang Bahaghari in English, a rainbow. So you have to study this, read this, and I'm going to ask you tomorrow to recite this, okay? So that is your... Homework for tomorrow. Is there any other question? Any question? No more? Okay. Well, salamat sa pag ano nyo, ha? Sa pag attend nyo ngayon ng ating klase. We'll see you again tomorrow. You did a great job, everyone. This is your homework. Takdang aralin. So after we finish our lesson today, I'm going to uh, save this uh, PDF form and I'm going to post it in our messenger so that your parents can Print it so that you can review it. And the same thing, at the same time, I'm going to download this video so that you can hear what we discussed so that when I ask you to read, you'll be able to read it correctly based on the sound. Is that clear? Hello? Okay. Is yeah. there any other question? Is there any other question? Yes. Yes, what's the question? Can you please stay in the Zoom? Huh? Can you please stay in the Zoom? Can you stay in the Zoom? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm Maybe going to do a, like uh, uh, maybe... I have a question. Uh, okay, oh, five no. minutes. Okay, oh, I'm going to give you five minutes to stay in the Zoom wait. so that you can uh, talk to each other. <laughs> then after five minutes, I'm going to end the uh, the meeting, okay? Is there any okay. other question? Okay. Uh, Go ahead. I have a question. I have a question. What is the question? Who's the one asking question? What? What's 
the name of the wooden sandals in the dialogue? Or uh, what you were talking about, like, it's made out of wood. No, he said that can we stay in the Zoom, that what they, they're talking about. So I said, yes, you can. No. I'm giving you five minutes to stay. Maybe you can talk, you can chat to each other. Okay? Okay. Can I, can I leave? Yeah, go ahead, if you want to leave. Yay. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Okay, if you want to stay, I'm going to give you yeah, I'm four staying. more minutes, okay? Let's go. Wait, why did Ito leave? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, I have want to play Scribblio. I can't. It's going to be blocked on my computer. I don't think I can. Yeah, the page is restricted. Okay, how it feels to to five um I'm going to ask him. They want you to enable sharing the screen so that she could share something. How? Um, you do participants. Um, wait, Jackie.